Beloved listeners, welcome to Grace Life Komi Podcast, brought to you by the publication arm of Chimdi Ouna Ministry International Komi. Our vision is to empower individuals to reach full spiritual completeness in God through the insightful teaching and preaching of the Word of God. The Grace Life Komi Podcast offers every believer a continuous stream of fresh, simple, yet deeply impactful teaching episodes that engender the revelation light of Christ Jesus. Our objective is to motivate and uplift individuals through the provision of enlightening content that facilitates a profound exploration of faith. Grace Life Komi Podcast is dedicated to fostering a beneficial impact on the lives of our audience, aiming to positively transform their spiritual journey and enhance their connection with faith. Chim the Anfunke Oahuna delivers teachings that aim to illuminate the profound truth and significance of the person and the work of Christ, providing essential guidance and instruction for nurturing and developing believers in their relationship with Christ. We urge you to remain connected to the Grace Life Coming Podcast and engage with us, a platform where believers can immerse themselves in teachings, cultivate knowledge, and form connections with like-minded seekers of Christ Jesus, who is the way, the truth, and the life. Grace to you, Jesus is Lord. Revival. Studying through the revivals that have happened in Europe, in America, in Germany. Sir Eric, Eric Sher. You discover that the last people to hit and get revival is Africa. Hallelujah. Other continents have had their revivals. But Africa is left to receive her own revival. And if you look through history, every of the countries you are celebrating today, the United Kingdom, Germany, America, their economies when the um, economy became beautiful. Hallelujah. Because of the revival that happened there. And so we look at Africa. And it looks like poverty has held us seriously. We have many economic theories. And yet we see that we are still held down by poverty. The solution to the poverty in Africa is not another economic theory. The solution is the hanging revival that is yet to happen. Once the revival happens, we will begin to experience what we have been believing God. Hallelujah. Check the Western world. Share Western. They all experienced revivals. And their economy started changing. We also need our own. I thank God for many of the miracles happening in different churches and every of that. But when we are talking about revival, we are not just talking about miracles. We are talking about reformation. Reformation. 
When the Welsh revival happened, I brought uh, a in Kenya and Ben. In Wales. Well, Wales. And it was headed by Evans Roberts. Obia was friendly. Evans Roberts. Now The alcohol rate. I wanna one woman sir. Dropped to fifty percent. Nina about from what the two way bar in Chemu and drinking bars closed down. Be a bus now what to two. The police officers they lost their job. When I was a police, I was a police Because there was no crime again. What's that there? Hallelujah. What's that there? Crime is another. As far as anybody else, you will be a way to my question. The judges in the court. When I was a judge, I was a judge. They did not have a case to handle again. When I was a judge, I was a judge. Because I was a judge. So they gave them white gloves. It was my one. In the mines, well, um, where they used to mine people that used to... Well, yeah, uh, what to hold it? Yes. The horses that used to work there, well, now, well, yeah, Juma, well, honey. they had to change them. Because all the miners that were using the horses before, they had become so born again that they could not say bad words again to the horses. They could not beat the horses again. So the horses did not understand these new generation miners. So they had to change the horses. That is what we are talking about, revival. We thank God for miracles. For these miracles, are they, dis are they stopping the crime rate in our society? These miracles we are seeing in church. Are they stopping the drinking bars from operating? In church. Are they making sure that the court, nobody is going to court again? Until the miracles we see in church. Stop the criminals in the society. Until the miracles we see in church. Close the beer bars. Until the miracles we see in church. Close our courtrooms. We have not yet started. And so, why are we praying? We are praying for the knowledge of the glory of the Lord to cover the earth like waters cover the sea. We are praying for the Jesus we meet in church to be in the streets. We are praying for Jesus to not only meet us in this building, but when we go to our places of work, Jesus will be there. When we go to the business place, Jesus will be there. When we go to the marketplace, Jesus will be there. I am tired of a Christianity that only ends in the chapel and cannot get into the streets. Mommy, Papa, when I started the church ministry, I was seeing miracles. 
dangerous kind of miracle. One day I was praying for a woman. The power of God hit her in church. And on Sunday, she came to give a testimony. She, she said, as we were praying for her, and the power of God hit her down. At that same moment, her daughter was convulsing at home. And the power of God left the church. Went to the house and healed her daughter. There was a man who was living close to our church. He said, anytime I am blessing the people after the service is over. He said, in his house he will hear my blessings. And as he says, Amen. Demons will be walking out of him. Hallelujah. He was seeing them right walk out of him. I saw miracles. But mommy, I was not satisfied. One day. I went to my father's house and I told my father Daddy Daddy is a pastor I said Daddy Papa miracles don't grow churches Ah hallelujah I was not talking from theory I was talking from practical I prayed for a lady so I prayed in a healing program I did. And a lady went outside to check herself. The seed in her breast reduced small. And so miracles. But I was still not satisfied. Why? Because the miracles we are doing is for ourselves inside this hall. The people outside, they need something that is beyond what we are doing. They, they need Jesus in a real way. They need Jesus in a way that we cannot give them yet. If the Jesus we are preaching yes, yeah, yeah, cannot empty the beer bars, if the Jesus we are preaching yes, yeah, yeah, cannot reduce sanitize, if the Jesus we are preaching yes, yeah, yeah, cannot sanitize our environment, then we have to question ourselves. About this Jesus we are preaching. Because Jesus died for the world. He did die for the church. He died for the world. So if we are preaching Jesus. That died for the world. And our society. Cannot see the impact of this Jesus. Then we need to question ourselves. And if that is the case, it means there is something wrong with our understanding. And if our understanding is wrong, our zeal will be wrong. If our understanding is wrong, our zeal will be wrong. The Bible makes us understand in John chapter 2 verse 13 to 17 it says and the Jews Passover was at hand and Jesus went up to Jerusalem and found in the temple those that sold oxen and sheep and doves and the changers of money. 
sitting there. And when he had made a sponge of small cords, he drove them all out of the temple. And the sheep and the oxen and poured out the changers' money and overthrew the tables and said unto them that sold those take these things hence make not my father's house a house of merchandise and the disciples remembered that it was written the zeal of thy house hath eaten me all. When, when Jesus came to drive us, all those who were buying and selling. I bet Jesus Christ over to when I walked on, I walked to turn. He didn't have to talk anymore. The disciples looked at him. And they remembered what David said. In Psalm 69, verse 9. For the zeal of thine house has eaten me up. And the reproaches of them that reproach thee are falling upon me. Hallelujah. When they saw Jesus behaving, when we yes to my Orient, Jesus did not have to tell them what he was acting on. They automatically remembered what he was acting on. Mommy, Papa. when they see us behave, so what we hear, can they be able to tell what we are acting on? If the people outside cannot tell what is moving on, if they cannot tell what is driving us, then we are the ones driving ourselves. Why Jesus drove the people now? The disciples said it is the zeal of the father's house that is driving us. My brothers, my sisters, in your place of work, when people see you, what would they say is driving you? When the disciples saw Jesus, they knew what was driving him. They knew what was pushing him. They knew it was the zeal of the house of the Lord that was pushing him. And let me tell you, your actions, actions show your zeal. Your actions Show what is driving you. Let me tell us something. It doesn't take God anything to change our lives. But what is driving us will determine whether it will happen or not. Tonight, you want to pray the prayer. Lord, let the zeal of your heart let it consume me. Just like Jesus, he could not manage to see the house of God messed up. When that kind of zeal takes charge of you, Nobody will tell you to do what you are meant to do for God. Nobody will tell you to pray. Nobody will tell you to fast. Nobody will tell you to do evangelism. I tell you one truth. When the zeal of the Lord consumes you, it will be driving you. It will be pushing you. 
And I tell you, the catch show. All the things we are looking for. All the breakthrough we are looking for. All the change we are looking for. It is just built on the zeal of Tonight, I just want to charge you. And I want to call you to the place of prayer. And as soon as you want to learn, you will pray that prayer. When the sin of the Lord begins to push you, you will not know when you wake up at night. And from 12 a.m., you will pray to 6 a.m. No prayer point. We need prayer. No need. We need everything. The sin is pushing you. You just keep praying. You keep praying. When the sin of the Lord is pushing you, you will not know when you wake up by 12 a.m. You will not know when you wake up by 12 a.m. at night. And you begin to read your Bible. Now I start to the and you will see that 6 a.m. Now open with them once. You are still reading your Bible. They ask you, what are you looking for? You say the seal of the Lord will just continue. Where the seal of the Lord is pushing you? Nobody will tell you to come to church. Because it will drive you from your heart. Where the seal of the Lord is consuming you? Nobody will tell you to go for evangelism. Yeah, can't try to go for you will just go and start preaching. It's not more miracles. It's more food. It's more food. If we like, we do all the miracle service we want to do here. If we are not having the sin of the Lord. Hallelujah. It will not affect our society. But my brothers, my sisters, let this zeal come alive. We will not be looking for miracles. We will be giving miracles. I see people that will go into the market. And they will begin to do miracles. I see people that will go into the business. And they begin to do me with But what is the secret? What is the secret? The seal of the Lord. The seal of the Lord. The seal of the Lord. I never had to pray like crazy for miracles. The seal of the Lord pushed me. And I entered into the miracle. Tonight. The zeal of the Lord. 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 How many of us want to pray that prayer tonight? How many of us want to pray the prayer tonight? You are rising up on your feet tonight. And you are saying, Abba, Father. Let your zeal. Let your zeal. Consume me. Let your zeal. Take charge of me. Let your zeal eat me up. You are opening your mouth and pray tonight. You are praying tonight. Let's see Brakataya Deliberia Kadosha. Beloved, thank you for listening to this teaching. We believe you've been blessed listening to this teaching from God's Word. May your soul remain ever refreshed and revived. We would love to hear your praise report today. Kindly send it to us via email, chimdiohunaministry at gmail.com. I would love to request, if you have not made the Lord Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, why not make it a date? Why not make this prayer today? Answer this call of salvation and repeat after me. Dear Abba Father, I know and accept that I am a sinner. I believe that you sent your son Jesus Christ to die for me. I confess my sins to you and denounce sin and the devil. With my heart, I believe in and receive Jesus as my Lord and personal Savior. With my mouth, I confess the Lordship of Jesus 
over my life. Thank you, Abba Father, for making me your child and for making me a new creation. In Jesus' precious name, amen. If you want to give your love seed of any amount to Grace Life Komi Podcast, kindly use any of our giving channels available to give in dollars. You can send to Universal Merchant Bank, Ghana. Account number 033-154-5512-013. With swift code M-B-G-H-G-H-A-C. And to give in CDs, you can still send via Universal Merchant Bank Ghana. Account number 033-254-551-2017. And to give in Naira, you can send through Echo Bank Nigeria. Account number 554-102-0514. For further inquiries and mobile money payments, or even sending us a WhatsApp, kindly use the number plus 233-54-594-7132. God bless you. Jesus is Lord.